I recently lost my husband, and he had a small 401 and a small stock in the company that he worked for. It was a employee stock ownership plan. Mm -hmm. um, the attorney, and I, from what I understand, I need to get this out of there. And the attorney that I saw said that, you know, that I will be forced to, and it's better to go ahead and make a decision now. Mm -hmm. But what to do with it? I don't know whether to roll it over into something um, or what it, if I do roll it over. Is it an IR, is it an IRA or was it a, a uh, employee stock option that came out of his pay? Okay, there is, that's one that came out of his pay and okay. then they matched it. And the other one is the 401. There's two different um, plans or two different. Right. So the stock purchase plan ho hopefully was not done as a qualified plan, meaning that that would have to go into an IRA too. But since they matched it, I'm wondering if it didn't or they were just a very generous uh, company. Is it a publicly traded company um what's the name no, of the company I, if you don't mind me asking us hargrove yeah. engineers okay um yeah i don't uh I'm not sure about that but so if it if it is um a a uh, publicly traded company then you would move that over to wherever you put the 401k. Do you have an IRA of any type? No. Okay. Um, so what, what you need to do is you need to open up an IRA account and um, you don't have to put any money into it. But that IRA, his 401k, becomes your IRA account. So it's handled differently than somebody that would inherit uh, an IRA. It's handled, uh, it's handled more like it is yours, which it is now. So okay. um, it's, just, it's just coming over to your uh, IRA so you would right now have to open an IRA account and you could do that online at a, um, you know, at a brokerage. Uh, you could do it at Timothy um, if you wanted to do it there. And the company will probably ask you to fill out some paperwork to move it, and they will um, ask you where is your IRA account, and you will fill in that information and the account number, and it will uh, roll over to that place, wherever that place is. Then okay. when it gets there, you have to figure out then what you're going to do with the money. When did your husband go home to be with the Lord? Was it? February. Did he have life insurance? Yes. Okay. So that's sitting there somewhere too, I would suspect, right? Yes. That's, yeah. that's part of what I want to have. You know, I don't want it to just sit. You know, normally what I tell people, um, you know, I wouldn't do anything for uh, several months. I usually tell them a year. Um, right. But uh, just just because... Um, you need some time to go get um, get everything behind you and figured out. And don't don't whatever you do, don't get caught up in saying, "Oh, the money's sitting there doing nothing." It's okay. It's only a few months. You know, it's not going to be forever. Better that it sit there doing nothing than you doing something that uh, you, you uh, aren't at the moment either 
you know, able or emotionally able or whatever to think through things properly and have some good counsel. And I, and I, I would really, I'm really concerned about that. It's one of the things that I worry most about. I just don't want somebody um, being talked into something that sounds like a, a very, a good thing, and it really isn't. So um, I would tell you to talk to as few people as possible, and then you can kind of go from there. But I think it's a really good idea to sit still a little bit longer. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.